To start, remove the front wheel from the vehicle. Disconnect the sensor lines from the strut body by pulling the rubber bushing away from the strut. Remove the brake line from the strut body by removing the single OEM nut. Remove the nut and bolt holding the strut fork to the lower control arm. Detach the sway bar end link from the lower control arm. In order for enough suspension droop to allow the strut to be pulled out, you will need to unbolt the upper control arm. Do so by removing the two bolts on each side of the strut. Under the hood, remove the three nuts on each side of the strut tower bar to remove the bar. It may be necessary to unclip lines from the strut bar before removal. Unbolt the three nuts holding the OEM suspension to the strut tower and the strut will now be free to remove from the vehicle. Slide the raceline coilover into the strut tower and align the top mount studs into place. With the supplied nuts, bolt the strut's top mount to the strut tower. Place the strut bar back into place and bolt down with the factory hardware. Reclip any lines that were detached from the strut bar. Reinstall the two upper control arm bolts to secure the arm to the vehicle. Bolt the strut fork to the lower control arm using the factory hardware. Attach the sway bar end link back to the lower control arm. Attach the sensor lines to the coilover body by pressing the bushings onto the coilover bracket. Remount the brake line to the coilover using the factory nut. You can now reinstall the front wheel as this corner's installation is complete. To begin the rear, remove the rim from the vehicle. Remove the nut and bolt holding the spring cup to the hub. Keep in mind the spring will be loaded so it is a good idea to have a jack underneath to release the tension. Remove the spring from the spring cup. Detach the shock fork from the control arm by removing the factory nut and bolt. Remove the two bolts holding the rear shock's top mount to the shock tower and the shock can be pulled from the vehicle. Place the raceline coilover into the shock tower and align the mounting studs to the top mount. Reinstall the two nuts to secure the mount to the tower. Bolt the strut fork to the control arm using the factory hardware. Lift the spring cup back onto the hub and reinstall the nut and bolt. Please note that no spring will be installed back into the factory spring position. You can now reinstall the rear wheel as this corner's installation is complete.